Hey, welcome back everyone, Don here. So today, I'm gonna to work on my wall. Um, the last video I posted, my father-in-law was here. Um, we did a little bit of work on the wall, but we really didn't get a whole lot done. Um, we were more playing than we were working. Um, but today, I'm gonna to work on the wall and uh, get, some, uh, get some more rocks put in place, sort of work on the puzzle and uh, see if I can't get uh, get something done. Having my father-in-law here was awesome. He uh, spent about a month up from uh, from the Southland and uh, kind of split his time between here and uh, Maine, where my brother-in-law lives. And uh, we had a great time. It was good to see him. And I'm on vacation this week, so I'm going to get some work done. I'm going to work on the wall, take you along. It's a little bit windy today, so I don't know how much talking I'll, I'll do. Um, I'm going to try and get more work done than, uh, than gabbing. It's going to be about 90 today and humid, uh, but over there in the shade where I'm built, where I'm putting the wall together, uh, it's nice and cool because it's shaded. I'm just going to gather some of these rocks, bring them over, and get the heck back to the shade. Because this is such a hill, I'm always worried about when I dump a load of rocks, or even one rock, that it's going to roll and uh, kind of use the tractor to catch it if, uh, if that happens, if I try to. Luckily, I haven't had any issues yet. Nope, I don't like that. Well,
so it's coming along time to take a break though time to hydrate the uh the wall's coming along though but it's hot it's uh it's about 90 degrees out today and uh it's cooler over here in the shade and to give you a sort of sense of how hot it is inside the tractor even with the cab it's still close to the outside temperature but i think the benefit of being in the shade is actually paying off here's the uh thermometer that's in the tractor it's uh, 93 degrees 92 degrees something like that um, and I did uh, I did do a modification to the tractor I added this fan right here six dollars at my local Walmart USB I just ran the wires up into the uh, up into the header here uh, use some hardware uh, that I had kicking around and uh, ran the wires up and through, kind of zip tied them, tied them along the harness, and uh, followed them uh, down to where the USB plug is, and just went inside this little the little console here with a with a uh, 12 volt uh, USB cord or 12 volt USB plug, and. Uh, it's got a little switch on the back on and off it's not very high tech and it's not very powerful but it does add a little bit of breeze it swivels uh, up and down but it doesn't swivel side to side but I can live with that for six dollars um, the hardware that I, I used existing holes that were already in uh, that were already in the uh, console here and uh, I just found some hardware that worked it's one of the things I preach to my son now that he's a homeowner. It's uh, it's important to save hardware, and I don't even know what those came from, but I just threw them in my little hardware plastic bin, and when I need something odd, I rifle through it, and I usually find what I need. Uh, I've been <laughs> so I've been encouraging my son to do the same thing. Now that he's a homeowner, saving hardware, tip of the day, no doubt. So I've had this shovel a long time. It's fiberglass. It's cracked. I don't know how long I've got left. <laughs> the, shovel's, the shovel's great, but the handle's toast. So I have another one, but it's uh, it's all steel and it's it's tough, but it's heavy. So I like using this because it's light, but it's seen better days. Round rocks are the worst, unless you're with Fred Flintstone at his bowling alley. about out of steam I'm not as young as I used to be this uh, walls coming along though I've made some progress and uh, I've got a pile of rocks over there I need to keep digging from it's getting smaller and smaller but uh, 
I think we're going to have just what we need. Like I said, all these rocks, I, I just picked them off the property. They were just lying around or I dug them up as I was carving this trail. So uh, that's kind of cool. I'll continue on and keep you guys posted. But uh, as always, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.